This demo is to show you how to perform a hearing screening test and are considered to be minimum standards for educational settings taken from American Academy of Audiology Clinical Practice Guidelines. Please review state guidelines to confirm the frequency and hearing level requirements. Any audiometer can be used to perform a hearing screening. Here are the air conduction screening audiometers available by MAKO. The first step is to find a screening location. Look for a quiet location away from distractions such as high traffic hallways, copiers or printers, or windows to a playground, for example. Verify this level with a disometer or perform a hearing screening on a normal hearing individual to verify all frequencies and tones can be heard below the screening level. When the level is verified and acceptable, testing can begin. Provide instruction to the child that they will be hearing tones from the headphones and to notify you every time they hear one, even if it is very soft. Place the headphones directly over the child's ears with the red phone on the right ear and blue on the left. Remove any obstructions that may interfere or be uncomfortable, such as glasses. Adjust the headband so the headphones are centered over the ear canal. Placement of the audiometer is important as you don't want the child to see your hand movement or presentations of the tone. Have the child turn slightly away from the audiometer. Select the right ear, select the frequency of 1000 Hz, and select volume level of anywhere between 40 to 60 dBHL. This level is used to condition the child to the test signal so they know what to listen for during the actual hearing screening test. Press the tone switch one to two seconds to present the tone. Wait for the child's response to proceed. If no response, re-instruct and present again. If still no response, switch to the other ear and present. When the child responds, lower the volume level to the screening level. This is usually 20 dB and present again. Once you start testing at the screening level, you have now started the screening test and the level should remain. For each presentation, document the response or non-response. As soon as the child makes two correct responses, move to the next frequency. If the child makes less than two correct responses out of four presentations, mark it as a refer. Move to the next frequency and continue on testing. Set the frequency to 2000 Hz and repeat tone presentations at the screening level. Document the response. Continue on with this method until all frequencies have been tested for both ears. Review the documented responses. If the child made two correct responses at each frequency, the child passed the screening. With a refer result, best practice is to rescreen immediately, preferably by a different tester and with a different audiometer to include removing headphones from the child's head and carefully replacing them over the ears. Upon completion of the test, wipe down the headphones and any portion that came into contact with the child with a disinfectant wipe. For additional information and instruction, please contact MAKO. Thank you for watching this instructional video.